Hello and welcome to more Ultimate Masters Drafts. Uh oh. <laughs> Are we doing it again? Are we first picking an Assault? So, let's see. Objectively, this card is very hard to play, right? It requires triple red, and it doesn't necessarily require life from the loam, but it needs like card draw and things like that. But it is extraordinarily good. Like, just turns all your lands into a shock. Um, if you weren't taking this, I think I'm going to take this. You can get Chainer's Edict, Circular Logic, Last Gasp, also very good. I don't know this was an uncommon. I thought it was a common when it was first printed, but I guess it's better to have fewer counter spells in the format. We're going to take Seismic Assault, though. This card's great. Super, super good. Um, What goes well with a Seismic Assault? Become Immense does not. Urban Evolution definitely does. Um, Think Twice is okay with it. And then a bunch of nonsense. So this is five mana and draw three. Or we could take a Think Twice. I don't think, a, I don't think Reckless Worm fits in this. I'm gonna try Urban Evolution. We're, right now we've taken only foils. Uh, I think that could be a good theme for this draft. Well, we did it. We got Life from the Loam already. This is the easiest draft of my life. <laughs> I can't get it this early. That's way too easy. There's a Vengeful Rebirth. I'm gonna take it. Oh my gosh. Who? How did... Magic's easy, guys. I'm quitting. This is my last draft. I'm going home. Mm, okay. Now we have like an interesting deck to draft. Wow, double Cathodian. Fortunately, this is not rare. Is this rare? I think this is the, er, the foil. No, this is the regular art, I think. Uh, I kind of like Vessel in these decks. We're going to need some good mana fixing if we're going to play Seismic Assault Urban Evolution. And If you watched my last draft, no spoilers, but Vessel being able to shuffle back win conditions is pretty important. So if you're trying to base your whole deck around one win condition, being able to shuffle it back, I think is worth it. Let's take a Vessel. Problem is this deck is like super weird. So we don't actually know what we're doing. We could take a Mystic Retrieval. Um, that can buy back like urban evolution and life from the loam. We need a lot of like ways to kill creatures, but we're setting up for something spicy here. Um, I don't think I want two. I don't even know if I want one, but I think it was the the best card there. So we can take a Seder Wayfinder. That can mill seismic assault, but it does get us lands. It can even mill life from the loam. And this card is good. We really want some like treasure cruises and stuff. I guess I'll take a Wayfinder. Passing up on a foil. Okay, treasure cruise is good. Took me a minute to see that. Um, put stuff in your graveyard. Dredge it back. Passing on not too much else. And I like seeing treasure cruise this late. That means whatever we're trying to do, if it even is even is a deck, is open. <laughs> uh, missing a pulse of Marasa, but we have one creature we don't really care about. Okay, I'll take another Vessel. I think this card is legitimately good. Ooh, Terramorph? Terramorph's nice. That's good with Loam as well. And the white Umbra's deck seems open. It's really unfortunate whenever this deck is open um, because I'm not gonna draft it. And so that means there's just less cards for me to take. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, Crushing Canopy I don't want to play against, but this could be an interesting foil deck. Pulse of Morassa gets back a creature, but I don't know... I don't know. I feel like foil is kind of nice in a deck that wants... What? <gasps> Vengeful Rebirth is the perfect card! This is the perfect card. Let's take it. You can bring back Seismic Assault. Okay, let's take a Cathodian. The non I don't like taking foils because let's say we have a non-foil and a foil. We play against an opponent in two games um, and they see the foil and then they see the non-foil. They know we have two of the card. Uh, I guess we take a Dawn Charm. I'm not attacking with small creatures. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, it's just I like not letting my opponent know if I have two or one copies of a card. <laughs> I feel like these are just the worst cards every single pack. So what are we trying to open here? What cards do we want? Obviously, more copies of these would be nice. Uh, the card Gamble would be probably ideal because we can gamble for life from the loam. 
That'd be awesome. What else would be good? Are there any lands with like useful abilities? There's engineered explosives, but I mean, maybe I'm explosivesing. This can kill a bunch of stuff. Magma, this sacrifice is non-land permanence, right? And furnace celebration. <laughs> We've got the full combo right here. I don't know. So engineered explosive, we can play it on two because we don't have many two drops. Or zero to clear tokens. There are a lot of tokens in this format too. Magma is fine. I mean, we're going to have at least three colors and this lets us tap for four. Okay. EE is pretty versatile. I'll take it. It maybe would have wheeled, but I don't know what else we're taking from the pack anyway. This is not a Magma deck by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, Faith's Fetters is good. Difficult to cast. Definitely hard to cast in this deck. There's a Faithless Looting. Uh, looting's pretty good with Loam. I'll give them that. Let's see, with Double Vessel. I don't know if I want a Rune Snag in this deck. It's like fine. We already have Foil. Mystic Retrieval. If this was an instant, it would be so much more powerful. Um, do we have any arcanes? No. R Ritual should wheel. I don't even know why this card is in the, the format, to be honest. Uh, I don't like looting so much, but I guess if we get enough lootings, we can have treasure cruise. And then we can just treasure cruise into assault. But face fetters keeps us alive. I've just been consistently impressed with this card. I'm going to take fetters. Ooh, maelstrom pulse? I mean, this kind of... Enters the question, how many colors are we going to play? But I guess the answer is that all of them. We just got to find some uh, Kodama's Reach. Get some more Vessels going. Pulse is a great card, though. Yeah. And now... Plume Veil is very hard to kill. It's a big boy. Uh, it's blue and white. <laughs> Our mana is going to be abysmal. We could just take Safe Old Elite and play it safe. As is in the name, but... I'm kind of... Kind of down for a Plume Veil, I think. Yeah, it's just big. It blocks everything. There's another Vessel. We may... Oh, wait. War Leader Celex. Never mind. Is that better than Conflagrate? So we can Loam Conflagrate people now? Actually, Loam Conflagrate is kind of a nice alternate condition to Seismic Assault. Right? You can just Loam back a bunch of cards and then hit your opponent for a ton of damage. Actually, I kind of like that more than War Leader's Helix. Also, the front side of this is pretty relevant as well. Mm, okay, do I still want Pulse? I have Cathodian, Plume Veil, Wayfinder. No, <laughs> I do not want a Pulse. Uh, we could take an Ulamog's Crusher. I don't think I need it, right? This deck is not super interested. Okay, I guess I'll take a Pulse. We can get back lands, but I'm probably not playing that. Wow, there's a second Treasure Cruise mm -hmm. or a third Vessel. What is more important here? What do we want? If I take taken Faithless Looting, Treasure Cruise would be pretty nice. Vessel on 3 is such a reliable play though, right? That like sets up our mana to do kind of whatever we want. Okay. Uh, I mean, two, I think 2 Treasure Cruise is like the, the magic number. Vengeful Rebirth can hit the opponent for 8 if we get back Treasure Cruise. And there's more three drops we can find. Okay. Ooh, Stinger Fling Spider. Yeah, I'll play a Stinger Fling Spider. Uh, passing out on Holy Hunger. We really just want to play Pulse off the Vessels, and this one's a big boy. Okay, so this was the pack we opened. Ugh. See, why? It's so frustrating to see cards like this going so late. I kind of just want to pass this whole pack so people take these cards, because I don't want any of them. Maybe I don't want to play against this one. Okay, Desperate Ritual, what does Spoils the Vault? Reveal cards from the top of your library until you hit it. And you lose one life for each one. Nah, I'm not down for that. I'm down for Desperate Ritual, though. If we get, like, enough Arcane, that could get there. Crushing Canopy is a fine sideboard card. Um, not doing any of this. I guess we could play Double Foil. Opponents on some weird... Man, why is white so open? Someone just take these cards. 
I hate that I'm competing for <laughs> for things, you know. Uh, pack three. Someone go into white, please. I don't really need that much though. Okay, we we kind of need a lot. I don't want to play Cathodian. We need like one or two Kodama's reaches and a way to kill small creatures because right now we don't. <laughs> we just don't have it. Um, because Vengeful Rebirth Exile, so Mystic Retrieval doesn't get that. Yeah, I guess Mystic Retrievaling Maelstrom Pulse is kind of our best way to deal with things. Uh, Entomb can technically get Loam. Technically. Um, we can take a War Leader's Helix, or we can just pick up a Frantic Search. With Double Cruise, I feel like Frantic Search is kind of just the card we want. I do love me some War Leader's Helixes though, but I think we need to be a little bit consistent here, and maybe we can wheel a Groundskeeper, because Groundskeeper is also pretty good with Conflagrate. Ooh. Eternal Witness. And in, wait, is that another Entomb? Did we just get back-to-back Entombs, -back or am I crazy? Eternal Witness is awesome, though. I would love this card, too, but... We have a lot of resiliency. We need a way to not die. <laughs> I know that's usually the theme of my drafts, but... We need a way to not die in literally just one Kodama's Reach, and I'll be happy. A Fauna Shaman. That's interesting. It doesn't do anything for us. It's a big boy though. Or lady. Swift Reckoning is good. Try to think. Does Think Twice even help us out? Because Swift Re Reckoning does kill stuff. And we have ways to bring it back with like Mystic Retrieval. Um. I mean, we could be like an aggro. <laughs> is aggro assault a thing? Because we do have we have conflagrate life from the loam. Uh, we have double treasure cruise. I think reckoning's fine. That's like the fourth magma we've seen. Yeah, we could have had a really sweet sacrifice deck. I think that's where we should be. But assault life from the loam is too good to pass up. Um, I guess I could take Magma. I don't want Crushing Canopy number two, I don't think. This is a five mana 4-4. Four, four. It's like pretty mediocre. It's a six mana 4-4. Four, four. I don't want to take more Delve because Treasure Cruise is definitely better. And I don't want a third Treasure Cruise, that's too many. Unless we get a Faithless Looting. I guess I take Magma. Probably not playing it, but wow. Man. Foil Sovereigns of the Lost Alara, huh? Um, I guess this could be an okay Mad Prophet deck. It's a 2-2. It has haste. It finds our cards. Uh, Circular Logic is a counterspell or Into the Wind for interaction. We don't have the Thisbean Stage Dark Depths combo, but that would be so sick if we were able to have Loam Stage Depths. Yeah, I don't think I need another counter spell. I have double foil. I'll take adjust the wind. This card can it's really good. We have let's see, we have Mad Prophet, Frantic Search, and Conflagrate to combo with it. We can deal with spiders with Stinger Fling. As long as our mana works out, which I do not know if it will, this deck will be good. I should have taken that vessel over the treasure cruise, because I would love to have a third one here. Okay, I think we need to find a vessel in the next like two packs. Like I'm not doing any of this. Molten Birth, make two one one elementals. Uh, I can make a four four with five mana. I really don't want any of these cards. I guess there is a world where we would want to counter squad. <gasps> gamble! Oh my gosh, that is the perfect card. Yes, we found a gamble. Okay, now we're doing it. And Helix Wield. Okay, I mean, this keeps us alive. Gamble, once we start, basically if we get red-green, we can start dredging loam. That is nice. Okay, there's a deranged assistant. In case we need it. 
Another think twice? Okay, this deck kind of shaped up. I know <laughs> those who are looking at it might see many, many colors and be concerned. As would I. But <laughs> there's a method to this madness. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's cut Desperate Ritual. Uh, basically, we're going to have to rely on Life from the Loam, Pulse of Marasa, Eternal Witness, Vengeful Rebirth to be able to get us the cards we want. We can... Uh... Yeah, actually, this is fine with Mystic Retrieval now. Uh, I guess I take another one just in case. Right? No, there's no way I want two. I'll take two Crushing Canopies. So what we can do, we can Dredge um, Life from the Loam. We can Mystic Retrieval back either Pulse of Marasa or Vengeful Rebirth. That is so embarrassing. It's the latest Sovereigns of Lost Lara I've ever seen. Uh, I guess I take it. I don't want everyone else playing it. All right, we have a million Crushing Canopy. I hope our opponents don't. Um, yeah, so we can... Dredge as much as we want, Mystic Retrieval back, Pulse, or Vengeful Rebirth. Uh, cast those on Eternal Witness, or just Vengeful Rebirth back, Seismic Assault. And then we're in business. Yeah, that's actually not the worst. Um, we need to cut some cards, though. Swift Reckoning, Deranged Assistant. So we could make our mana more consistent and go like this. Cut Plume Veil and then bring back Maelstrom Pulse. So this would be a more consistent deck, but it doesn't have any of the life gain. But if we don't need life gain or removal, this is pretty good. And uh, is splashing Maelstrom Pulse off of Duffel double vessel actually insane or do i just play a main deck crushing canopy because we're one i guess we could just play uh 18 lands because this deck has like a good amount of card draw right if we we just never want to miss on land drops okay i think this is an 18 land deck Especially we just want more lands in our deck for Seismic Assault. So we still have all the mana. Now the mana's not... It's still bad, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, let's sort by color. What do we want early? Green is for super late game. So we want... Basically we want blue early. 6-6-5. Six, six, we just need green for Loam, Pulse... Stinger Fling. I think we go down to four and make blue seven because we have Think Twice, Deranged Assistant, Frantic Research. Yeah. This, this is a deck. That's very true. And then if our opponent is dirtily, we can bring in all of this nonsense and try and go five color. But I think staying three color is probably our best bet, especially if we're trying to actually cast a Seismic Assault. If we had a third Vessel or literally one Kodama's Reach, this deck would be much, much better. But as it is, I still think it's okay. Awesome. See you guys around one. Oh yeah, this hand's perfect. Look, Terramorphic Expanse for Mountain. Uh, Seder Wayfinder puts stuff in our graveyard and we pulse back the best thing we find. It's as easy as that. And then we, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we go from there, I guess. Our graveyard would be pretty full, so we have stuff for like treasure crews. Especially with Terramorphic Expanse. There's our Mystic Retrieval. This deck is perfect. Everyone who said our mana was bad had no idea what was going on. Or they're perfectly reasonable. One of the two. Mill two, Forbidden Alchemy. Okay, so opponents on self mill. Seder Wayfinder can actually trade. There's the second mountain. See, guys? Seder Wayfinder can trade with the Sultai. Urban Evolution. Oh, we can pulse back an Ewit. That's such a good feeling. <laughs> so gain six, and then we're going to Ewit back an Evolution, and then turn five Evolution. I'll block. 
There's a vessel. Um, I play mountain. I don't. Uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty set on pulse. And then. Oh, wait. We can't actually cast any without another forest, can we? Oh, uh, that's okay. Let's just pass. I can save Vessel for something more relevant. And Ewit plus Mystic Retrieval is so sick. So we're really in no danger of dying to damage. Ice or Wayfinder, sure. Don't mind that at all. I really hope our opponent gets aggro. Yep. You know, of all the decks, I feel like this is kind of a deck where uh, foil is pretty good. Also, can you imagine your opponent foiling you from this position? They have no islands in play. <laughs> I would be a little salty. Crow of Dark Tidings, sure. Chainer's Edict. All right, I feel like we're pretty good in this matchup. Let's get back Ewit. Frantic Search. Uh, we can actually Frantic Search into Eternal Witness, can't we? Just float a green. Discard two cards. I don't need this many islands. I could have gotten just the wind, but I feel like casting Eternal Witness is more important here. One, two, three. Play Eternal Witness. Witness gets back. Urban Evolution, I think. Yes. Pass turn. So the crow, we kind of want to find our spider, but we're we could just keep beating back pulse of morass and gaining life. So unless they do something like absolutely crazy, I'm not super worried. Oh, we can just play the spider now. You have you have a counter spell? Nope. Okay. Yes. What do you have in your graveyard, sir? Island Swamp. Uh, I kind of want to start attacking. We could just hit with both of these. We actually actively want Eternal Witness to die. Um, that way we can pulse it back. Unholy Hunger, sure. Um, so if they play something really busted again, we can Mad Profit out of Just the Wind. But more likely than not, we're just going to Urban Evolution. Dip your Guild Mage, sure. Oh, that's good too. Let's Urban Evolution here. Counter Squall, okay. Not the worst play, but we can get it back. So next turn, I imagine we're going to be Mad Profiting. Um, we do need to find lands eventually. Opponent's stuck on all swamps, and Changer's Edict is pretty bad against us. Target player discards a card. Um, we can kind of go on forever here. Uh, I guess Vessel is the least important, or... <clears throat> Mystic Retrieval gets cheaper, actually, with a discard, so that's fine. Oh, that's good. That's kind of what we want. I say we just play that before... things get bad. And we're gonna shuffle back... the land, I guess. And we play Seismic Assault. And as soon as we can draw a land, we can just kill all their creatures. I wanted to play this while they didn't have Counterspell mana up. 
And now it's just about drawing into life on the loam. They can make us discard two. We can just leave back Vengeful Rebirth. Oh no, they can only make us discard one. Okay. Yo, let's trade. Yep, I'm gonna discard just the wind. I don't really care about that card. <clears throat> I just need to find one land. I don't have any mana, so. Oh, I have to? Okay. Come on, land. Okay. Kill you. Pay three. Just the Winyard Guild Mage, okay. Seems good. So we can... Vengeful Rebirth. Wait, we have a couple options here. So we can Mystic Retrieval back, uh, Pulse of Marassa, and then Pulse of Marassa back Eternal Witness. Or we can just cast Vengeful Rebirth, getting back Urban Evolution. That seems better. No, actually, I want to save this because killing something's pretty relevant. So yeah, let's get a pulse back. Three, and then pulse back and e wit. And now let's hit for one. to pass their turn <laughs> they almost did so we can discard mad profit if they make us discard yeah don't care about that let's draw land perfect kill you uh vengeful rebirth Getting back Urban Evolution. Kind of like Urban Evolution to the face. Go, go. And then we can, if they make us discard more, it doesn't matter too much. We have Gamble for Loam at basically any point during the game. And this card wins games. It's so hard to interact with. And probably we're just going to e-witness back pulse. Yeah, <laughs> I would scoop. Okay, so their deck seems pretty bad for this matchup. They have one crow, which is something to consider. I kind of just want to keep my deck consistent. <laughs> well, <laughs> as consistent as it can be, right? We could bring in two foil. Nah, they haven't shown any real reason to be worried. <clears throat> we'll just run it back. And then, did they show any counter spells at all? I don't think they did. <clears throat> so we just gotta catch them when they're on like two cards so we can Seismic Assault or when we have a foil up. And we even need to Treasure Cruise at all that game. This hand is beautiful. I'm gonna keep. <laughs> it's a turn four urban evolution. That's not so bad. And a pulse. Pulse plus Ewit. Yeah, as long as opponent doesn't. Demir Guild Mage. So they can try and make us discard pretty quickly. Um, but we can just Vessel it back. So we'll discard an island. Oh, they can't even make us discard yet. Okay. Let's go Island, Vessel, pass turn, and if they if they really want to tap out to make us discard, I guess we discard the other Vessel. Ah, interesting. 
So we'll play the mountain because that gives us urban evolution mana. What costs four mana? I'm just gonna do this. How much can they really do? Sure. Even if they counter it, next turn we can Vessel into Eternal Witness, just to get it back. This card's so good. I've never played with Eternal Witness in like non-cube. It's a very powerful card. Chainer's Edict, those cards don't do anything. Resolves? Resolves? No? Okay. <laughs> don't, don't do this to me, man. Okay. We're at 14. That's not the end of the world. Mm-hmm. Um, we can actually vessel their think twice if they're not careful. I they draw, okay. Yeah, that's better than making me discard, I think. Forest is nice. So we can go forest. Uh, vessel, your think twice. Hello? Okay, exile this. And then eternal witness, back urban evolution. Yes, go. And if they kill witness, we can pulse. Oh my gosh, we can pulse and urban evolution in the same turn. Six mana. Do you target vessel? Probably vessel. Interesting. They're going for the super aggro plan. I kind of respect it. So we can go. Let's start with Frantic Search. Um, do I really care about the spider? I guess we can... How much mana do we have? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I kind of want to discard two things so I can pulse one of them back. So, spider and a mountain, we're going to discard and tap these. Then, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we have we're one short. We take, we take a decent amount of damage here. Two, three, four. Um, I think we should stick to our original plan and just uh, kill the Aether Snipe here. Bring back Stinger Fling, kill you. Pass, uh, play land, then pass turn. <clears throat> We're at 10. It's not super low. Opponent has four cards in hand, so do we. <laughs> and they know we have a spider, so they can't play any flyers. Rise from the tides, making three two twos. Okay. We have no effects. That can be good. Deals X damage divided as you choose. So how much does this cost? Red, one, two, three. <laughs> we can complicate for three here, or we can uh, Stinger Fling Spider plus Eternal Witness. Yeah, that seems okay. We have to Eternal Witness first, right? 
No. Yeah, so we're going to turn one is back. Frantic search. Play frantic search and see what that gets us. Green. Green. Red. Yes. One, two, three. Play frantic search. Untap three lands. I kind of want to have more lands in play. What do I discard here? Because we're going to play spider. This is kind of tough. They're kind of getting us with these zombies. So we discard these two, right? We're untapping three. Okay, so we can still play spider. We know they have a Chainer's Edict, so we want two. Oh, let's get a green, shall we? Pass turn. So one, two, three. If we draw one land, we can <laughs> we can only kill two things with Conflagrate. This card's uh, mostly good at killing a lot of one ones. So flushing back Chainer's Edict takes all of their mana. They make us discard, we discard Conflagrate. Mm -hmm. Okay, Witness is gone. Wait, you have two? <laughs> That's a lot of Chainer's Edicts. Ice that. Take eight and die exactly. All right, we're on to game three, I guess. Man, we need a way to deal with a lot of two twos. Do I have a way to deal with a lot of two twos? Oh, anytime if we had drawn EE, that would have done it. Yeah, let's see, we have engineer explosives. Seismic assault does it. I think we're fine. We just got pretty unlucky with our draws that game. Stumbled a little bit. Yeah, this is good. Vessel, Mad Prophet into a hasty treasure cruise. Go. If they counter this, we're dead. <laughs> Dude. Can't have that turn one every game. Uh, Second treasure cruise is less good. Uh-oh. Okay, Derange. Oh, I don't like that at all. I don't like drawing this many islands either. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah, this guy's pretty good in their deck. And he milled a thing twice, too. Crow of Dark Tiding. Sure. Let's draw the spider. Mountain. Okay. Let's go. Mad Prophet. Um, pass turn. I just want to fill my graveyard so this is easier. Take two. Yeah, their best bet is racing. As soon as we draw our Seismic Assault, things get a little better. Death denied, okay. Yeah, they're in it for the long haul. Think twice flashback, sure. And a guild mage, Skullkeeper, sure. Another think twice. They have so many think twices. Discard of Island. Okay, Pulse is good. And foil. I like having foil in hand. Um we can actually let this die, right? Let's play Island. Yeah, I think we're gonna trade this off for the Skull Keeper. I think. Because we can just pulse it back. And we're gonna discard one of our treasure cruises because two is kind of a lot. And we're not really in much pressure right now. Mm 
Mm-hmm. One block. Block here. Discard a treasure cruise. Get a forest, that's good. Pulls back a mad profit if they don't do anything. Otherwise we foil whatever they do. There's a just the win. Frantic search, that one's fine. I'm basically saving foil for if they have like some really busted threat. Because I, I really would like to pulse this turn. I guess theoretically we could pulse back an island and then alternate cast foil, but that seems horrible. Opponent discarding fire nice and swamp, okay. This is getting countered. How many do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's uh not let that happen. Let's go forest. One, two, three. We can pulse back Mad Prophet and then discard this forest. And pass turn because I want to block the 1 1. And then hopefully Treasure Cruise can help us go the distance. Yeah, we don't need double green with Vessel out. Five mana. What's this expensive? Oh, the Jin. Okay, let's find the spider. Yep, take it. Let's loot. Conflagrate. That can kill the crow and the deranged assistance, but not the spider. Can we do both? We need this mountain, so I actually can't loot it away with the mad prophet. How much mana do we actually need to kill these two? Just two? So we can go one, one, two, one, two. And that puts this in the graveyard, and then Treasure Cruise goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One and one. And we Treasure Cruise. Do I want Pulse still? Or do I want Conflagrate? Seems really hard to flash back conflagrate. Let's keep back pulse, I think. Yeah. Okay, and then we have a spider to deal with that. That's good. And I wanna keep, yeah. I need this to resolve. They haven't shown any way to counter creature spells, which is good. Yep. Ether Snipe, Bouncing Mad Prophet. Okay. I will loot. I'm going to discard Terramorph. I don't think I need things that enter tapped. Explosives is nice. So let's kill. Three, four, five. Stinger Fling Spider the Jin. And I kind of want to play Mystic Retrieval on Pulse of Marasa. That way if they kill our spider, we can just get it right back. It's impossible to engineer an explosive the Aether Snipe, unfortunately. But we are just grinding our opponent into oblivion. I think twice. So they have Chainer's Edict in their graveyard and they didn't use it. Stitched Drake. Oh, now we want our spider to die. <laughs> Life from the loam. Okay. 
That's a good one. So let's loan back Terramorphic Expanse. Two, three, four. Play a Mad Prophet. Loot away the Expanse. Uh, or do I just fetch the Expanse? Oh, I can loot away the Expanse and dredge loam. It's a pretty good interaction. And now I can pulse back. I don't have much to pulse back, actually. We can Mystic Retrieval back a Just the Wind. I think I'm going to save pulse. Um, oh, yeah, this can block the 3-4 anyway, so that's fine. How do they have less cards in library than we do? Changes, are you serious? Okay, well, that's just suicide. <laughs> it's exactly what I wanted you to do. Uh, I guess we'll let them attack first and then we can pulse. They saw us get back pulse, right? Play the spider, two, three, four, five. Kill you. Let's loam the Terramorph. Loot it away with the Prophet or just keep that as a blocker? Let's loot it away. Dredge. Okay, there's a Seismic Assault. And still one land in our graveyard, wow. Well, let's loan back the one Terramorphic, I guess. Oh, we need green. <laughs> we always need green mana. Loan it back. Use our mana wisely, I guess. Pass turn. So, the like the last six cards of our library are all lands here. And we can uh, Mystic Retrieval the Pulse. I dredge loam. I think I just want a normal draw. So let's e wit. They probably counter this. Okay, then. Wait. Do they have a counter spell? I don't want to dredge or draw any more cards because we're both at the same number. So let's get back Seismic Assault. Yes. And play a Seismic Assault. I imagine this gets countered. But then we can uh, Mystic Retrieval it back. Foil, okay. And this flashback is red, okay. Pass turn. Opponent decks before we do. Yep. They have one card. No loot. No dredge. Let's go Mystic Retrieval targeting Pulse of Marassa. One, two, three. Oh, I see. We need this to die. Well, it's hit for three. It's hit for some. <laughs> I should have done that after. Suicided my guy. You're just going to give it to me? Pulse of Marassa. I guess I want to play around. No, I want the lands in hand. Get you back. Play you. Do I play around Rune Snag? Or do I play around them drawing a counter spell? Let's play around Rune Snag, I guess. We'll just jam a deranged assistant. No dredge. 
Eternal Witness. Getting Seismic Assault. Oh, I can get Pulse back too and just keep doing this. <laughs> um, that's an interesting choice actually. Can we kill them with Seismic Assault? Probably. They have one card in hand, so it like has to actually be a counterspell. I think this is a good position. Yes, use the ability. Play Seismic Assault. Okay, so that resolved. So now we can kill this. Just swing out. And we can do a lot of damage. Chainer's Edict. I'll lose my 1-1, one, one. that's fine. Flashback Edict, okay, we win. Uh, you die. So we can actually EE for two here. Dredge Loam. Let's loan back some lands. We might even be able to just kill him right now. I think we can. Kill you. Oh, no, no, we're EEing here, yeah. Play E for two. That doesn't hit any of our stuff. Yes. Two. It does not kill Seismic Assault. Okay. One, two. Um, so Loam is, I think this is, we're good here. I think this is lethal. 13, let's count it. 11, 9, 7, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This can get back two, three more lands. 12, yeah, that's lethal. Oh, no, it's not. Right, because we need a land in hand. Wait, wait, wait. Because we have to discard a land to Mad Prophet to dredge, right? So we discard this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So they go to 1. Okay, I mean, we're basically killing them here. They have one turn to do something. And I should have attacked with Mad Prophet. That was a mistake. But it should be fine. Yep. We can even think twice to dredge Loam instant speed. Okay, round one down. See you guys round two. All right, we're here for round two. Let's go first. Good hand. Oh yeah, it's fine. We got all our colors. We got assault. What more do we need? Let's lead with a mountain. If we get really lucky, we can play an assault. Uh oh. Okay. Mountain. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Are we just gonna turn three assault this opponent? No, we're not. That's fine. Um, I don't even really want a frantic search just yet. Maybe I should have. I don't know what I'm facing. Okay. Let's see, can we beat a Faith's Fetters on Seismic Assault? Because that would really fit this curve right now. I don't want to run it out. There's no need. Let's just pass. We want our opponent to face better something because they're red white and they haven't played anything till turn four. It's totally possible they could have a fetters. Okay, let's go island, urban evolution, go down to five up to eight, play a land, okay. Play a forest, pass turn. Next turn we're gonna probably eternal witness back the evolution. I just, I don't want to leave this susceptible to getting fetters. So if we just have all the lands in hand before we play it, or we have a lot of juicy targets on board, then it's worthwhile.
Yeah, like that one. That one's worth targeting, I think. Seismic Assault. Let's kill this. Uh, I don't really need triple green. I don't really need double, triple red anymore. We'll kill that. And then... We do have one foil in the deck. I guess we kind of want to try and find it first. Because to protect Seismic Assault, EE. -E. Oh, explosives can kill. Okay, we're fine now. Let's discard Island Forest. Untap these three. And then Eternal Witness back, Urban Evolution. And then keep these lands in hand. Yes. Okay, so now even Face Fetters doesn't do anything. Yes, that is why Explosives is a good card. How do you beat this? Like, literally, how do you beat this deck? Mad Prophet. He gone! <laughs> Alright, let's uh, kill this. Fiery Temper, sure. That's fine with me. Are you gonna kill the E-Witness? Oh my gosh, stop! Guys, if your opponent's playing Eternal Witness in this deck, don't kill it. If you don't kill it, they can't pulse it back or do any weird things. One, two, three, four, five, Urban Evolution. Ooh, Gamble? Okay, now we're talking. Let's gamble. Discarded engineered explosives. That's not good. If they had face fetters, they would have used it though. I should have waited. Okay, they don't have anything. Good, 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 good. Let's go loam. Two, three. Um, hit you, hit you, you can treasure cruise now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we're going to dredge alone. I'm gonna cast Loam. Oh, I need to discard a card first. Hit your face. This is beautiful. Loam back these lands. I think this is actually exactly lethal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, it's not. But it's a lot. It's a lot of damage. And now we can just conflagrate our opponent, even if they face fetters our seismic assault. Kill you. I kind of want to keep... We're down to seven, so there's no need to do anything else. Pass turn. Okay, so they do have the face fetters. They gain four life. We can pulse back Eternal Witness. Of course, I exiled my engineered explosives. That's fine. So let's hit you. Um, how much mana do I need? They're going to go up to eight. Yeah, we can just get to, to a bunch of cards and then conflagrate them out. I think that's fine. Yeah, I should have kept uh, EE -E in play. That was kind of a mistake. Heliod's Pilgrim. What is that getting? Another... <laughs> they have more ways to gain life. 
Mammoth Umbra, sure. I'll keep Dredge Loam. Loam back some lands. So I'm not going to cast it again, right? What's our plan? Can we conflagrate them out? We can conflagrate for one. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. So close. Uh, is there anything else we can do? What else can we do? We can conflagrate their face for two, put them down to six. Yeah, and that's just in our graveyard to kill them. Oh. Let's do two, right? Or I guess just one is probably fine. I'll hit you. There's that three. Three. Yeah, we conflagrate. And then we loan. And we pass turn or we keep up just the wind. I think we pass turn. Enjoy your conflagrate death. <laughs> this is basically like legacy over here. They need to gain life. That's their one out. Okay, we got it. So, game two, we need to play around face fetters and bring in some crushing canopies. Because I think they're probably going to rely heavily on face fetters. And they also have some enchantments floating around. Uh, cards I don't like against them. I like all my cards. That's the problem. They're all great. Uh, maybe I just want one canopy. Just the option of finding it is worthwhile, I think. Sorry for my phone buzzing. Uh, I don't know what to cut. Maybe a foil. We, we don't really need it. They're red-white. What are they going to do? Oh, no. We might have our first mulligan. We even have the combo. Uh, fine, I'll mulligan. Okay, I'll keep. Just the wind. We're basically looking for green mana. And then Life from the Loam should get us all the rest of the mana we need. There we go. Look how good this deck is. <laughs> we actually have all the colors now. Fetch a forest. I wonder if they brought in graveyard hate. It's not the worst plan. We're definitely dredging loam because now we have treasure crews. Heliod's Pilgrim, sure. Hyena Umbra, yeah, that's fine. I want to see a flyer. Dredge. Oh, there's our canopy. We can still get that back though. So let's fetch, get a mountain, loam, get back. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get back all three and then discard one of them <laughs> just cause I can. Yeah, let's buy that one. Another pilgrim. Okay. What are you doing here? Mammoth Umbra. Yeah. Can we dredge loam one more time? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, Vengeful Rebirth is going to be good. So, I want to play Mountain. I don't want to pulse anything back. I can treasure cruise here, right? Then we have to discard a bunch. I guess we just pass turn and flashback think twice. 
All right, I'm down for that. And we do have a bounce spell, so if they go all in on one big creature, we can bounce it. And our spider can do a surprisingly good job of blocking stuff. Yeah, I'll take two. They're just passing turn. Okay, I'm done for that. Okay, that's a good card. Um, yeah, I guess land spider seems fine. Pass turn. Rogue's Passage is good in the enchantment stack. I'll give him that. I just I want to empty my hand so I can treasure cruise. <laughs> So they can bore Umbra one of their pilgrims. <clears> that still can't get through the 2-5. This booty doing a lot of work. And then eventually we can Vengeful Rebirth to bring back something. Sure. Yep, it's a 4-5. So there's another forest. Can we treasure cruise yet? Uh, one, two. I kind of like Crushing Canopy. Three, four, five. There's no way I can treasure cruise. Okay, let's just pass turn, I guess. Hope to not die. If they have like God's willing here, it's possible we should have bounced the pilgrim on our turn. But we can we can even just like block with the spider and pulse it back or something. Oh. We're definitely blocking with the spider and pulsing it back. Yep, get bigger. I'm still not worried about anything. So we can bounce the Wingsteed Rider. I kind of like doing that. This kind of gets through a God's Willing if they have one. Okay, they do not have one. Okay, now we can probably treasure cruise safely, right? There's an assistant. Or we can just cruise it all. Three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I'm less worried about canopy. Let's do eight. Range assistant. <laughs> we have another treasure cruise, which we could just hard cast, I guess. Yep. Man, please kill my spider. I don't think they saw pulse yet. Let's go mountain. Frantic search. Oh, engineered explosives on three? <laughs> oh no. That's gonna be good. Uh, discard two cards. Island. Island, we can just loan those back. I kind of feel like explosive on three is pretty good right now. <laughs> um, so we have one. I kind of want to loan. Get more lands. Let's, let's do this. Oh, Mystic Retrieval is good. Let's just get back a Vengeful Rebirth, I guess. One, two, three. And now we have EE up and Vengeful Rebirth. And Lomon, EE on three is pretty nice. They're left with a 1-1 one, one Pilgrim. <laughs> See you guys around three. Uh... <laughs> this is the keep, right? We can gamble for the mana we need. Just gamble for Island. Or if we draw a forest, we can gamble for Loam. I think this hand's actually not that bad, all jokes aside. Uh... So we can gamble for island here. 
And then Mystic Retrieval the Island? Okay, I like that. Okay, I mean we... Or Mystic Retrieval the Gamble. That worked. <laughs> we don't have Loam. But we don't really need Loam right now. Did opponent forget to fetch? Because Deranged Assistant's going to be really good here. They totally forgot to fetch. The Terramorph. Let's just play some Mana Ramp here. And as soon as we, I guess we have Ewit, so we can just get back Loam. Okay. I'm down for retrieving back a Loam. Whoa! Okay, opponent. Two can play at this game. What's going on over there? Vessel. That's good. So let's do this first. Of course, it's a forest. Let's fetch a forest. Vessel of Endless Rest. And get rid of their life from the loam. Go. God, Vessel's like the best card in this format, I swear. It lets you go five colors. It's the perfect amount of graveyard hate. It does everything you want. It's just the best card. Demir Guild Mage, sure. I ain't scared of no Guild Mage. Think twice. So let's start with Frantic Surge. Pulse is good. I want one land and I want it to be a mountain. So let's discard this and think twice. And tap you guys. Then we can derange an assistant. Wait, do we need to? We can just Eternal Witness. Back. Gamble? Yeah. Then we can cast Gamble. I kind of want to wait though. Nah, we'll do it. Can't cast it this turn. That's okay. We tapped terribly. Gamble, we're gonna gamble for loam. Oh look, it's in our graveyard. <laughs> um, and then, I guess I want to play the land here. Pass turn. I don't even care about discarding cards now. I have life from the loam. Mhm. Mm why does everyone trade? Guys, just learn Just learn one time. Just don't kill your opponent's eternal witness. Just don't do it. It's not a good idea. Unless they have like Tormod's Crypt, which I don't even know if that's in this format. Tassiger, sure. Uh, I don't actually want to use Deranged Assistant here. I just want to dredge Loam. We can loan back a forest. Forest, mountain, island. We can go one, two, three, one, two. So we can, we can pulse back the eternal witness. That's about it. Or we can just hold up foil. Let's play a forest and just hold up foil. Pass turn. If our opponent wants to Tassiger, that's fine with me. Maybe I should not have let them counterspell, but I think having counterspell up is also, also worthwhile. And we can Mystic Retrieval the Pulse of Marasa if things get sketchy. Take four, I don't mind.
Orc of the Grove evoked to make a 4-4. Um, that is fine, I think. Yeah. Ten step, let's get back Eternal Witness. Okay. Do I want to dredge loam? Kind of. I want to hit uh, EE for zero, does it? Okay. Um, what am I Eternal Witnessing? Just Pulse? Eternal Witness back, Pulse of Marasa. Our opponent can't really attack. We can loam. There's another forest. One, two, three. And play the forest. And we still have foil up if things get too scary. So them attacking actually gains us life. Block here. <laughs> Foil is really good if you have life from the loam in your deck. I might bring in another one. Vessel of Endless Rest. What am I scared of them targeting? I mean, that's fine. If they target, then I pulse. Life from the Loam. I don't mind that so much, actually. We don't really need that card. Let's come back. So let's pulse back Ewit. Get you back. Okay. Conflagrate. Now that's a card. Um, so we can Eternal Witness a Gamble. Seems good. Yeah, we have enough red. Okay. Get a Gamble. Yes, let's play Gamble, that, we discarded Foil, oh that's pretty bad actually, okay, well, let's go for it. Okay, uh, I mean, <laughs> they let that resolve, we got, we got whatever we want to do now, and Loam is shuffled back in, which is good. So we can kill Tassiger, we'll let them activate, we can just give them a Demir Guild Mage, it doesn't matter. And uh, I think we're I think we're fine. I think it's I think it's going pretty good. I wish we had the foil, that's so bad to discard, but uh, we can actually get that back, but let's kill Tassiger. So they can't get back good cards. Kill you, kill you. And kill you. Yep. That dies. They're still gonna tag into my witness. As one does. Just giving me so much value over here. Ooh, mad profit. Okay, so let's Mystic Retrieval back. Pulse of Marasa. One, two, 
three. And then Pulse of Morasa, the Eternal Witness. And then do this. Eternal Witness back the card. Yes. Go. So resilient. So now we take four. We don't really care. We're at 30 life. Their life total is what's important now. Yep. Okay. Draw an island. So let's go seismic assault. Kill you. Or wait, do I even want to kill that? Yeah, then I can attack with a Mad Prophet. That seems fine. We can actually hit for a decent amount. And then as soon as we draw loam, we're rocking and rolling. Hit for five. So with Conflagrate, we can hit for one, two, three, four. Okay, so we can Conflagrate for four. Ah, when does it come back? Beginning of the next end step. Okay. You definitely want to kill it right now. Yeah, take four. Wait, they're tapping out again? You want to do it now. You can kill both of these guys. Oh, you're just going to kill the Mad Prophet? Okay. That seems fair, I guess. So we're, if we don't draw anything, we're just going to conflagrate for a million. Just killing Mad Prophet. I guess that makes the most sense. Vessel of Endless Rest. Oh, that's really good, isn't it? Yeah, we can bring back one of our win conditions. We can Vessel back the Pulse. Uh, is there a way to go infinite? I don't think there is. One, two, three, four. I don't think we can let Shuri Shizo's Caretaker stay around. So let's conflagrate one, two. Okay, we want to think twice first, I guess. One, three. Cedar Wayfinder. I don't care about that. Okay, let's just kill this now. Two damage to you. One, two, three, four, five. you for three you get a fume spitter back oh only if it's on the battlefield okay we killed both on accident <laughs> yep take four fume spitter again okay Mountain. Um, we're like getting pretty close to being able to conflagrate our opponent out. I don't really want a vessel yet. I don't like Seder Wayfinder. It does find loam though, and a land. Okay, loam plus land seems worth it. And we can shuffle back any good things it hits. So 
Stinkling and treasure cruise. Okay, I'll take a land. Then, do we move to attacks? Yeah, because I want to kill the elemental here. So we just swing. And they're going to put a counter on the Ewit, and then we can vessel it back. So Vessel goes here. Put Eternal Witness back on the bottom. Yeah. That gives us one more loan. And they have a 4-4 four, four Elemental. I'm not super worried about that. I kind of want to save up uh, Assault to go face. But if they do keep it back to block, then we kill it. Still attacking. All right, I guess we kill it. It's a weird, it's a weird thing to be still attacking, but I guess their best bet is doing a bunch of damage to me out of nowhere somehow. Wow, how many fume spitters are in your deck? Okay, they kill one of my guys. That is the card we wanted. So let's get back Treasure Cruise and hit them for eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we can Treasure Cruise. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Life from the loam. And you did. Yes. All right, round two. They have like 10 million fume spinners, which doesn't do a whole lot. If Shizos Caretaker alone, which doesn't seem super high value. The only card I'm worried about from them is mostly Maelstrom Pulse. Eh, run it back. Deck's perfect. I mean, if we're going to have the perfect hand every time, we might as well, right? <laughs> we got an aggro assault here. We just got to find some blue for a loam. Or a green. There's blue. I said green. I swear I said green, but deranged assistance can fuel treasure crews and bring out the uh, life from the loan from our graveyard. Dreamscape artist. I will probably conflagrate that after we play this guy. Oh man, that's pretty good with Shuri too, isn't it? Okay, they want to ramp. Does it ramp them? Yeah, it does. Two basics put them on the battlefield. Double green. Cedar Wayfinder. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Just the Wind, Walker, and Moan of the Unhallowed. Sweet. So let's go. We know we can Seismic Assault next turn. So let's conflagrate just this guy. Because we really do one, right? And then we can just derange the system whenever. Doesn't really matter. Next turn we're going to Seismic Assault and then... Take one. If they do nothing, then I think we... Hold off on the Assault. Sure, yes! Okay, we win this game. Good game, boys. Mill. Vengeful Rebirth is a good card. But. A boom! Kill you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not eight, though. Okay, pass turn. We, we need to find a green source. Urban Evolution needs it, a lot of things need it. But they need to find a way to kill this, otherwise they're playing a bunch of fume spinners. Take one. If 
This card is... Okay, Stitch Drake is fine. We can kill that with two lands. Devoted Druid. <laughs> Opponent's in so much trouble here. And we gotta think twice. There's our forest. Hmm. What if we just play Urban Evolution? Two, three, five. Play you. <laughs> oh, just what we wanted to see. Let's kill you. Can we actually do all of this and then treasure cruise? We can kill this, play the island. Uh, we're probably just better off waiting to treasure cruise. This poor opponent. I really don't feel bad. Don't worry. <laughs> all right, we'll kill the Drake. And I can kind of want to keep up double green. Take one. They have literally one card in hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they can flashback Moan. Sure, that trades for two lands. Let's range assistant. Treasure cruise. One, two. Three. I don't really need a conflagrate. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man. Okay, so we have two things we can pulse back. I guess we don't have any creatures to pulse back. Let's play vessel. It lets us frantic search easier next turn. Um, yeah, I'm not really worried about their graveyard. I kind of like my graveyard though. Right, all of these cards are good. Okay, let's put back this. And then pass turn, right? We can just kill these two. Um, pull some Rasa back a land if we need, but ideally we draw like Eternal Witness or something. Kill you. Kill you. <laughs> sure, Beam Spitter's fine here. Yep. Mad Prophet. That is a good one. Let's start with a frantic search. We're basically just looking for loam. Mystic Retrieval Eternal Witness. Well, <laughs> I suppose we discard these and just play an Ewit. One. Two, three, play Eternal Witness. Getting back, can we treasure cruise reasonably here? Oh, let's get Vengeful Rebirth and then bring back treasure cruise with that. Yes, pass turn, because we, uh, we can think twice. Yeah, then Vengeful Reverse Trother Cruise to their face. And that makes burning them out much, much easier. Stop killing my Eternal Witness! It's so bad for you! <laughs> I would choose for this happen every single time. Every single time I want it in my graveyard. We got a Fume Spitter. Their deck is not well set up for this at all. Okay, let's draw, rebirth, getting back treasure cruise, targeting you. One, two, five, six. Um, 
Um, what can I exile? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I'm down for, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. How many lands have I exiled so far? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there's there's still enough land left in my deck. This, this. Okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. I'll take one. I'm just going to go to their face. Nothing else really matters. Treasure cruise. I don't really want that one. Okay, so let's gamble. Play from the loam. Discarded cruise. Okay, so discard a card, hit you for two. Um. You just play the spider? <laughs> I mean, that seems fine. We need to draw at least like one more land. Maybe exiling them all with Treasure Cruise was a little aggressive. Man, if Vengeful Rebirth didn't exile itself though. Mark of the Vampire. I like it. I like the effort. But I'm just going to take three. Let's come back and step. Nothing matters. Let's draw land. Wayfinder can hit lands. Okay. I'm done for that. We don't land, the rest in our graveyard. So we can loan back some lands. Two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not enough, is it? Well, it's Mystic Retrieval alone, so we don't have to dredge it. Okay. Yes! That is... Oh, man. I love this deck. I gotta look at it again. <laughs> That's how you 3 -0. It's as easy as that. You just draft this deck, and you 3-0 with it. See you guys next time.